Hey, what's going on? Aaron Dunn here in Tyler, Texas, downtown specifically. I'm in front of Rudy's Barbershop to show you how this barbershop is using graffiti to build brand awareness and get some attention down here. I've had my hair cut here. It's, he does a good job. He does a sharp haircut. I haven't had my hair cut in a while, as you can see, but uh, I'm gonna show you over to this graffiti wall because this is what this channel is all about, strong, calm, and com, C-O-M, is the root word that means together or in common. And I use that word as a springboard to talk about three things that I'm passionate about, three things that I enjoy helping other people with, and that's communication, communicating value online and off, community building online and off, sorry about that sun glare, and how those two things, when you do them right, you do them together, they build stronger company. Whether that's the company you're building, like a business, a barbershop or the company you keep like the people you keep around you so check this out I'm gonna pan around and get my fat face out of the way but check this beautiful piece out definitely follow all these guys on Instagram it's a local crew local crew there's me check this beautiful piece out this is probably uh, I don't know I'm six foot two probably 13 14 feet high something like that and it has the script you can read the script probably if you have a trained eye for graffiti but the uh, I'll put a translation of the script in the description uh, Jim and I backward that third one down Jim and I I had him on my podcast strong Calm podcast you can listen to that um, on this channel but also he put the description on his Instagram. He also put a video of a guy who's staring at this thing. You can see the eye in the middle there. And he goes like, it's a portal. I feel like I'm just gonna jump right into it. It's pretty legit. Now, why would a barbershop wanna do this? And how could this bring ROI, return on investment, for marketing? Well, check this little sucker out. So this is the second piece that they put on this wall. They're gonna rotate it over time. And if, uh, if you've got an eye for graffiti, you can see that it says Rudy's in the script, R-U-D-Y-S, and then Z tucked in there with the arrow, and then barbershop on the side. Legit, love how the colors pop. I fell in love with graffiti because I used to live and then we got this guy. We got like this avatar looking dude. About to, I don't know what he's about to do. He's looking strong though. He's about to cut some hair. <laughs> that bald dude's about to cut some hair, some serious hair, but uh, you can kick your haircut out of here. But I, I started to love graffiti when I grew up in Edgewood. I uh, grew up like in a small town like Tyler. Of course, Tyler's got 100,000 plus people, but uh, I grew up right near the tracks, the railroad tracks. Jim and I's got another piece over there, but I grew up, you know, just a regular kid right by the railroad tracks, used to ride bikes and stuff. And, um, you know, so I connect with graffiti through the trains and I loved, you know, that, that art. I love street art. So kind of the subject of the video, why would a why would a barber shop want this graffiti up on a wall like that? And it's pretty simple. It's, I put, I, you know, not to be a broken record, but strong comp, communication, community building, and how that builds company. So if you just go through the steps, what he's doing is he's, he's giving the keys to the kingdom. He donated this wall to local graffiti artists because he knew that they could bring some heat. They could communicate ideas that he either agrees with or thinks is cool and there's nothing as you can see distasteful about this stuff but it is eye-catching it's attention grabbing and it communicates certain things that could inspire the mind to pull over and do a video such as this thereby creating greater awareness for everybody who takes a picture and all this stuff he's creating an environment that people would actually want to be around and I don't know, just making something unique, bringing something new 
to our area. And that's powerful. So communicates a sense of value to the local community because instead of a stark brown regular wall like you see all around town, now less so and less so uh, here in Tyler, he's getting attention for his business in a stylized way. And that type of art's gonna communicate to a specific group of people. People like me, people who love this type of culture, people who love creative people, who love art and thinking outside the box. And you know, those people are gonna need haircuts, those dudes anyway, because he's a barbershop. So communicating something of value, something unique, something with a, a, a very specific direction. Here, I'm gonna show you again. So in doing this, he's communicated value. He's gotten the community to know about it because it's on the side of a wall. And now he'll get more business by doing this act of creation. So what can you do? Do you have a wall you could donate? To a local artist what if you gave what if you gave a local artist your wall what would it look like how could you stand out among other what is your differentiator you know who is your brand made for who does your brand make comfortable those are places those are questions that you can start with to start figuring out what kind of creative communication you can get out there whether it's with social media or spray paint. And he's used, <laughs> he's used both. Here's Rudy's, uh, get this off my face, but you can see uh, Rudy's barbershop right up here too. How are you getting your name out? What do you think of this? Leave a comment, leave a like. This isn't the only wall around here in Tyler. And uh, there's a reason that Tyler is investing in this type of creative activity. It's because it brings a greater awareness and a greater sense of camaraderie when we can connect via the arts. Not only the arts, but the act of creating something new and taking something old and reinventing it in a special way. It's what we should be doing with our brands and our businesses every single day. How can you inject a little bit of extra creativity a little extra commitment not only to get business but by doing so getting business because it is an authentic expression of what you are all about like share subscribe you know the deal and follow all those guys uh, exact I think it's TQ crew Gemini shout out to you guys thank you for Keeping your calm strong. Talk to you soon.